I have a Twitter you should follow and a brand new Discord server, which you should totally join. Anyways, subscribe. Do you ever feel like you're someone you're not? It's something that a lot of people have on their minds daily, including myself. This feeling well known as imposter syndrome is a very common thing with kids, teenagers, and sometimes even adults. While growing up, you're still trying to find your place in the world, and sometimes it can feel as if you're just living in someone else's shadow. A lot of the time, it feels as if you can't become your own person, and you'll end up being something that you're not. In a very unorthodox way, Fooly Cooly says that no matter the odds, you can. The purpose of this video was something that I debated for a while while I was being consistently harassed to make a video on No More Heroes, on whether I wanted to cover the story of the show or what it meant at a deeper level, but after some thinking, I decided against that. What I want to talk about is how this show influences and has influenced its characters and real life people. Fooly Cooly, or as it's better known, FLCL, is one of the most unique shows out there. It defied what could be done with narrative and animation and satirized it at the time of its release. It's one of the most culturally significant anime in the industry, along with shows like Evangelion. But why? Despite its short runtime of six episodes, FLCL manages to tell its story and fulfill everything that a show needs to do. On a base level, the show is confusing and it shouldn't work, but despite all of that, it manages to be entertaining and that's its purpose. Here's the rundown. Basically, this kid named Naota, I don't know how to pronounce it, hold on, give me a second. Naota. Naota comes into contact with an alien called Haruta, and she is trying to find the space pirate. Atomsk, and she succeeds and leaves the town before coming back and then leaving again forever. The show was never supposed to have an in-depth storyline that needs to be analyzed, despite the fact that there is kind of one, but that's not what this video is about. As the director, Kazuya Surumaki, said himself, comprehension should not be an important factor in FLCL. The entertainment value was the show's primary target, and they very clearly succeeded with that, as it currently sits at an 8.1 out of 10 rating on IMDb. The main topics that this show addresses is about growing up and living in someone else's shadow, but a lot of people neglect the aspect of influence that exists in it. In the first episode, we're introduced to Naota, a young boy whose brother recently left to go to the USA for baseball. It's because of this that he feels as if he lives in his old brother's shadow and it this is shown through a lot of symbolism throughout the show and can be seen as one of the influences in his life that makes him the way that he is then comes along haruko who very literally crashes into his life and alters it for the rest of the show haruko can be seen as a bad influence i'd even go as far to say that she is a downright terrible influence and terrible person but, because Naoto is still a kid, he's a lot more impressionable and lets Haruko have his way with him a lot of the time. A good example of this is near the end of the show, where she left the town and returned, managed to convince Naoto to come with her even after she left very unpromptedly. And what the fuck, Nyan Cat? Not only that, but almost everyone in this show influences Naoto, some more than others. Like his brother's ex, Mamini. Despite the brother moving to America, she is still in love with him and then tries to take it out on Naota. It's really weird because Naota starts to develop feelings for her and she doesn't reciprocate, basically manipulating him into liking her. Then there's his dad. Naota's dad is a very immature person and can be seen in addition to Naota's brother leaving, why Naota acts like he is an adult at all times, trying to seem mature and not like his father, as well as trying to not live in his brother's shadow and become his own person. Those are just a few examples, but influences can be seen throughout the entire show. And they're not just specific for Naota. For example, Mamini is addicted to a game on her phone and she turns into a pyromaniac once a robot erupts from Naota's head named Kanti who she sees as a fictional god who is in the game. It's really sick to see all this stuff happen while the show unfolds, and it adds on to the layers that it has in a really neat way. FLCL clearly struck a chord with a lot of people because this show paved the way to some of the best media out there and some of my favorite shows. The influence this show had on people when it came out is still felt today through ripples, whether that be from its soundtrack probably being the most well-known thing about it in recent years, 
and also maybe the fact that it was one of the inspirations for fucking Avatar. That's right, the animation in Avatar The Last Airbender was influenced a lot by FLCL, and apparently the creators of the show said that everyone on the staff had to buy it and watch all of the episodes. And correct me if I'm wrong, but like, Avatar is one of the most influential and recognizable shows to exist in the modern day. Avatar isn't the only thing that was influenced by Fooly Cooly. Fucking Teen Titans, the show that used to be really good and then got rebooted and turned into meta zoomer humor and exists as TikTok Subway Surfers gameplay clips was heavily inspired by FLCL. And if you've watched both of them, it really shows. The next one is a little crazy because you're not gonna believe this, but it ties back into the channel and a big piece of my identity. If you've been watching for a while, you know what I'm talking about. That's right, Chainsaw Man. Fucking Chainsaw Man is stated to be a quote unquote evil furry curry by the manga's creator, Tatsuki Fujimoto himself. Apparently, a lot of the girls in the manga are also very much influenced by the show, so that's a bonus. Regardless, even if it's not as prevalent as other shows by Gainax, Fooly Cooly still has its clutches on entertainment, and in some weird roundabout way, influenced me to make this. In the end, the people in your life are all going to have some sort of influence on you, whether that influence be big or small is up to you. This is getting too deep for a video about anime, about some fucking anime that I like. Uh, you guys voted on what the next video is gonna be and the results are in, so Parappa video coming soon. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, follow my Twitter, join the Discord, blah blah blah. Okay, bye. Help. That's- oh Help. my god! <laughs> Yo, wait shit, I'm gonna fall off the map. You dick, you fucking dick. You dick. <laughs>